fucking shameless because you're literally is Devo Corrigi worth 60 million right here right now no okay thank you so Havertz is not we're worth not paying 60 million. 60 million we're paying like 65 yes <laughs> we're paying two, we're paying 65 but it's oh, really 65. I think it's 70 girl. I think 75 plus <laughs> add-ons isn't it no 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 no, no. Yeah. it's 50 million split into three years 17 million each year and then 15 million in add-ons the add-ons is if we win major trophies that's it yeah, yeah, yeah assume the add-ons never work assume yeah. add-ons never happen is Origi worth 50 million? Also, no. This is who no. you're signing, Habibi. No. This is who but guess you're signing. What? But guess what? We are not signing him to play as a striker. We are signing him to play across the front three and to be a midfielder also. Oh, so okay. if Qasim signed Devo Origi to play RCM, would you laugh at him? Bro, it would be completely <laughs> different. Well. It's, more like, it's more like signing... Origi it's got more like, ability than Havertz, it's, though. It's more like signing Antoine Griezmann at 25. Oh, God. Wait, 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 wait. The did level just... of disrespect. Wait, did we just one say one. signing Havertz for Arsenal right now is like signing Griezmann at 25? I, I'm, I'm just making a comparison to age. No, no, just say yes or no. Profile. Did you actually just say because I'm this just is saying the profile worthy. of where he could play across many different positions. That's it. It's, I'm not saying that exact same. You know who can also play in multiple positions? Milner. What does that have to do with anything? Sam's taps that's, out. That's yeah. the reason why we're signing him. We're signing him because of his versatility and the ability to play in many different positions. It allows us the tactical flexibility to have somebody to come off the bench <laughs> or to start that can then we can change the tactics in game with him. It, 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 look, I like the I like the the shit housery and the fact that you're backing him no matter what, but. You can't name I, me I'm not backing him no matter what. You, can, you, you, can't, 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 you can't name me two or three times a season where you've rated Havertz or you've praised Havertz on it on this season. Bro, I don't rate Havertz to that level where I'm going to sit here and name every single great moment that he's had. But the reality is I don't need to rate somebody for them to come into my team and do well. But this is true, but you're, you're basically saying that it's a great bit of business by Arsenal. But based on everything good, that's yeah. happened... Based on the fact that it's happening, I, right? I, one second, it, it's it. not, it's not, I'm not sitting here saying it's a great piece of business. I have, you know what, we're going to actually go to the Arsenal segment. You want to just segue the whole Arsenal segment. I did an article today and that article that I did, I literally laid out what I thought about each signing and potential signing and what I actually thought about each one. And, I, and this was on, this was on Arsenal Informer's website. So when I did the, when I did the whole thing, I broke down what I thought about each signing. So let's do this together, guys. Declan Rice. I think he's a great signing potentially for Arsenal. And if we do yeah. sign him, he'll be, a, he, I, I would say, 10 out of 10, 9 out of 10 signing. As for Kai Havertz, I think you barely pass him, maybe even fail him, because I think he's a five or six max based on his performances. If he performs well, you can say as high as a six. But nobody here expected him to be a signing for us, and nobody would have expected him to be a, a, a target for us. As for the other two, Romeo Lavia is still young, so I'm going to say you have to, upside wise, you're going to say seven. And I think Timber, I think that's another great signing, potentially an 8 out of 10. So let me know what you guys think about these signings, potentially. And this is where I was kind of going to go with the Arsenal segment. <clears throat> but yeah. So are we just saying Bun United? I'm down for that. Yeah, Bun United. Because Safi didn't even want to talk too much about that topic anyways. Yeah, because they suck anyway. I'm good with that. I'm good with that. Okay, so yeah. So by the way, if you guys want to see where the article is, the article is on the Arsenal Informer website. I, manipu I manipulated the guy. I, I can put the link it. in the description. Staffy, we let you off the hook. Don't worry. Uh, we'll get you next time. You're always here. Big up to you. But yeah, what are we saying? Um, what are we saying? Rating these uh, four potential transfers for Arsenal. What do you guys think? Well, obviously the main one is Rice. Like the people you're looking to move on. If you get Rice in, it's a fantastic business because it's obviously an up for me. It's an upgrade on what you already had. Um, the Havertz one makes no sense for what you're looking and how you're going to play. I don't see him like he'll be. If you're saying about across the front line, then he'll just be a sub. And obviously, as a Spurs fan, I know which Neil kind of alluded to. I can't say anything because of Richarlison being sixty million. I don't rate Richarlison, and that points there you go. So I like Havertz sixty million as a wasted sub is what we did last season with uh, Richarlison. Lavia's a great youngster, and I think he would be good as an addition to bring through your team. So I'd say about a six at the moment because he's got a obviously break it to the first team. And then Timber, yeah, good signing. But are you going to get them all? I think Timber's the most likely at the moment, isn't it? But Timber about seven or eight coming into that team. 
Timber is basically agreed personal terms, and we just need to agree the fee. But this is crazy. Since when has it become that personal terms uh, is the first thing that's reported? It used to be they would report when the fee is agreed. Now they just report every section of, of a transfer for, for, for fun. But yeah, I, I don't mind it. I kind of like it sometimes. But yeah, Hussam, what are you saying? What do you, what do you think about these four potential transfers, and do you think they're going to happen? I don't know if rice happens anymore because every day it's a different uh, thing. Uh, the other three, none of them take you to a Premier League title. I think Timber could because he's someone who could invert into midfield. So that gives you an extra element with Timber. I think Timber will probably be the best signing out of the four um, if Declan Rice doesn't sign because I think Declan Rice could take it to that next level. Uh, Havertz is going to flop. I'm saying it right here, right now. I've said it on Spaces. I'm saying it here. I'm saying it everywhere. Havertz won't work. Based on what? Based on him being a shit football player. That's what it's based on. Okay, fair enough. Thomas Tuchel is a better manager than Arteta, and he played him with a striker. He played him in midfield. He played him on the wing, and he sucked every single place. That's let the truth. Ask, let me ask you this. Did Kai Havertz has had multiple opportunities to prove himself. One second, one second. Is Arsenal a better place for attackers' signings? Yes or no, than Chelsea? Attackers? Yes, of course. So when players sign for Chelsea, do they not tend to underperform? Sorry, say that again? Irrespective of the manager, when players sign for Chelsea, do they not tend to underperform in the attacking third? In recent history, but not oh, not in not like you can say recent. But that has nothing to, but that has nothing to do with this. If a player has three hundred appearances for Chelsea, and he's on double on 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 can even hit double digit Premier League goals, then that's a problem. I, I think they, I think Hussam, they misprofiled him, they misused him, and it, at Arsenal, where he's going to be used in in a, in a in a system where he's not dependent on as much and in a position that's more fluid uh, where he can where he can where we can I hear that. you but he's still gonna flop yeah Lavia, he's also go, go ahead La, La, Lavia wouldn't really take it to a Premier League title I think Timber and, and mm-hmm. Rice are the two best signings of that window if it happens I'd give a Rice a 10 out of 10 if he signs because that would Lavia, be an Lavia will be a bench option and potentially starting at times but Thomas Partey would have to leave mm-hmm. for Lavia to come in yeah but that's the thing that's what I'm saying it's not an upgrade on what you have no, it isn't, but it's age-proofing. That's what we're doing. I think for me, Rice and Timber are the two gems in that transfer window. Fair enough. Uh, Khasim, what are you saying? What are you rating this window? Oh, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Um, that, listen, I, I said my opinion about Kai Havas, a expensive player. I don't think the Premier League for him. I think he's too slow. He needs time in the ball. And I, I don't think the Premier League. Just from... Listen, that's my opinion, bro. Look... Arteta can he, he can get the best of him. I'm not sure where he's gonna play. I said it before. Double pivot. He improved. Uh, working hard, he improved. I'm not sure where he's gonna play. But for us, sending him for 60, 65 million, that's absolutely, uh, absolutely happy days for us. But yeah, La- I like Lafia. He's a young player, but he's a squad player right now because he's an experience. Declan Rice is a big prize, bro. But I think I'm gonna say my opinion, bro. I think Declan Rice will go to Manchester City. I really do. Uh, that's my thing. Declan Rice, you think he's going to go to Manchester City? Yeah. You know what? I think uh, St- let's talk to Staffy about this and then we're going to go to the Manchester City to- topic about this because I feel like a lot of you guys I haven't spoken to Hus- I've spoken to Hussam about this on my on his channel but I haven't spoken to him on here but yeah Staffy, what are you saying? What are you rating those transfers? Um, it, it's, it's a tough one because I, I don't want to be too harsh, but a lot of these signings, except for Rice, let's, let's, let's get, actually, let me get Rice out of the way. Good signing, obviously, if you do it, whether he plays instead of party, whether if Partey stays, whatever, he's still a good signing. I won't rank it too high because like, it's not like you sign prime Modric. I'm not going to give it a 10 out of 10 like everyone does, but I'll go a, as a minimum of eight because like, obviously he's going to have to come in and you know, carry this team and carry that midfield and prove himself. So I'm just giving him room to improve. So I think eight or nine is, is fair enough. Everything else, I just have questions because you just said how these um, signings are age proof. But then I just remember, like, I, you know, I'm on your sh- on your channel like twice a week. You always told me you guys are going for experience. But now you're talking to me about age again. But then your squad is already very young. So it's like, why are we going back to the age thing again? Because it's like, you guys like to put yourself in this underdog situation where we're this young squad and we're overachieving, but then you're going to sign more kids. Okay, now, this- it's not that I don't rate these guys individually before you think anything. I don't rate Havertz yet, but Timber and Lavi, I do rate them. Let me, let me tell you something. 
Honestly, I rate Lavia too, but he's not an upgrade. Who's who who right? Who's mm -hmm. right? In the sense of Partey to Lavia is a downgrade in the short term. In the long term, we benefit from it because in the, the long, long term, term, you never know. That's the term. you long might term, benefit from it long term. Yes, but, but here's the Thomas issue Partey, though. That's the risk with the youngsters. Thomas but, Partey's thirty years old. I just want to say quickly, big up everyone in the comment section. Do me a favor. We're almost at five hundred people in the chat. Hit that god. Uh, sorry, I need to stop saying that. Someone told me, please stop saying God. Hit that mm -hmm. like button, people. Do me a favor. Make sure you do hit that like button. And don't forget, if you want to subscribe to the channel, please do subscribe also. And if you want to become a channel member, it is quite cheap. You can become a channel member. And of course, that gives you priority on streams and everything else. But yeah, let's continue. We almost got over 500 people almost in the stream. Make sure you... Be I guess 10 memberships, Alan's going to dye his hair pink for you guys. There you See, go. I wouldn't mind seeing that. Alan, what do you think? I think that's Listen, a good idea. Uh, if we get 10 memberships, I would dye my hair uh, blonde. I'm telling you. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Sam, I'm not stupid enough to bet my hair on something because I, I ain't guaranteed. Listen, that, like... I would dye my hair blonde. I don't care. Uh, hey, it was a great moment, Alan. I lived it. I lived that shit. I'd listen. It and was and it cannot be gifted memberships. It has to be like 10 different people. <laughs> yeah. oh, um, absolutely not read for us and Terrence Tibbs in the comments. Definitely not. Um, anyways, uh, look, Look, you're talking very quickly. You're saying about Lavia like this and the other. It's a gamble. He's got loads of potential, but you've got to think not every single player works at every single team or in every situation. The one that sticks out most is uh, uh, Man United. Lingard was absolutely awful. We went to West Ham and looked like a player reborn because he was able to play in a team where, you know, he had more room on the ball. Teams weren't sitting in. He looked better in transition, all that. So Lavia going from Southampton, who are in a similar position where you know, teams come at them and there's more room and like stuff like that for him to be sitting in and breaking up play compared to having a ball is a different scenario. So if you get him, he's got a lot of potential and it will take time for him to come through. And I think there is a player there, no doubt, but it's not going to be a straight in and affect Arsenal or make him win the league or make him challenge for the league. He will be one of the people in the background, you know, taking like, if you're having, because you're playing the Champions League now, you're going to need players to have a rest and he'll be coming in and, like maybe the league or, or a, a, the Carlin Cup or FA Cup. So I don't think it's a, he's the a, a type of um, signing that's going to transform you this season. So I think you're going a bit overboard on that one as well. But Rice, if you do it, fantastic for you. That, like Hassan says, that takes you to the next level. Um, but yeah, apart from that, Timber, like I said, solid signing. I think him and Rice, if you get them done, would be the two best signings. Um, but yeah, Havertz still. I, I, I just, I just wanted to point out, I wasn't months. saying... I wasn't saying that I, I still agree we need experience and I don't mm -hmm. see enough uh, I, in Timber and Declan Rice. I see experience coming in in Kai Havertz and Lavia. I kind of see big risks, but the upside in Lavia is there. Kai Havertz is the one that doesn't make the most sense. And I gave him the lowest score. I think giving him a five is a, is a fair rating for his, for his rating out of 10. I think it's fair. Give him a one. That's fair. Okay, whatever you want to say. Um, Thank you for watching Eagle Talks Football. Hopefully you enjoyed that clip. Now let me know what you guys thought about it in the comment section. Make sure you do hit that like button as we try to get past at least 100 likes on all the videos. And also, let me know. Did you watch the full video? Because the link is in the description. Have yourselves a wonderful day, guys. We're out of here.